Okay, this is Don W6GPS, and this is part two of how to work the ISS uh, stations using APRS. And so the equipment I'm going to be using today is, of course, my Kenwood D74, and it's set for the configuration that I uh, have on my uh, YouTube channel. And I am using the Elk dual band log periodic and uh, this is really a nice antenna lightweight lightweight very very nice and uh, I'm using my watch as kind of a strap right now and for my spotting tool I'm using the ISS detector and what's nice about this is I can get all the information on the set on the birds that I want to be tracking and it has a mode called radar and it shows you the azimuth and the elevation uh, in real time. So uh, fortunately we're going to have a really good pass to, uh, today because it's going to be uh, almost a 90 degree overhead. So uh, it's going to be real, real long, almost 11 minutes. And uh, we'll be starting here in just a moment. In fact, it's, uh, it, the duration is 10 minutes and 52 seconds. So just a couple things to let you know on the D74, and this is very awkward doing this all by yourself, is uh, I basically have it all ready to go, and when I'm, ready to, when I'm ready to send a beacon, you may not be able to see this because when, it, when uh, things start happening, it happens pretty quick. But what I'll be doing is, is I will actually hit beacon, and you'll get a beacon out. And uh, the setting that I use, the setting that I use to, in, um, in menu uh, 507 is detect data and so the one thing that you don't want to do is just keep on sending a beacon and beacon and beacon you want to listen wait for activity when there's a uh, um, quiet time then you send a beacon um, if there's a lot of activity because of the uh, uh, setting in the uh, detect data you can actually hit beacon and it will wait uh, until the packets are cleared and then it'll make a transmission so you're not stepping on people so anyway we want to kind of make that clear so now we got everything ready to go all we have to do is wait for the uh, ISS station to uh, show up okay it's starting to count count down now and you can see the uh, countdown um, in s seconds coming up Okay, there you go. So we see where the uh, ISS is coming. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my phone down and I'm gonna kinda put it in such a way that I can kinda watch what uh, the azimuth and the elevation is uh, of the ISS. So right now we're just, right now we're just listening. And it's only about five degrees above the uh, horizon, so kind of doubt we're going to get anything right now. Okay, I could just hear it, and it's uh, eight degrees above the uh, above the horizon. So we'll we'll go ahead and send a beacon. There you go, there's a good packet right there. I like the arrow because it's lightweight when you're standing here for 10 minutes. Okay, there we go. We got our station and we got all sorts of activity going on now. Do a quick key and you can clear that out. Now I'm going to send a beacon. Okay, so what I've done is I've I programmed my PF key for squelch. 
and I'm going ahead and quiet that out. And let's open the squelch back up. Okay, it's getting higher now. directly overhead now. Okay, I made it up again. Once you make it up there for sure, let somebody else do it. Turn the volume down just a little bit. Just about 10 degrees. We're at 10 degrees right now. Still plenty of activity. Almost, it's almost, uh, we've almost lost it right now. We got a huge list. We even picked up, we even picked up uh, a PSAT. That'll be interesting. So, there you go. It's very, very simple, very straightforward. Just don't give up. Uh, there's been times when I've tried to hit the space station and had good signals, but just did not make it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go uh, back to my house uh, we're going to go look up some things on the internet, and then we'll tell you more about uh, about uh, satellites and um, uh, working the ISS. But anyway, um, it's kind of addictive coming out. Uh, it kind of draws a uh, crowd sometimes. But a uh, little simple antenna, of course a D74, and uh, patience, and just remember, uh, don't give up. Okay. Now we're back in the studio and I guess the big thing is did we make it to the International Space Station I mean did our little 5 watt radio bounce a packet hundreds of miles up comes down and did somebody pick it up so we have a a list of stations a pretty good sized list uh, we also have uh, one one from Mexico and we also got the uh, PSAT, PSAT satellite, 350 milliwatts. Um, I'm just kind of curious though if I open that up and it actually, it actually digipeded through the International Space Station. So that's pretty cool, picking up the I, a PSAT via the ISS. But now we want to say, hey, did we make it to the ISS? So what you want to do is, is you want to go to uh, www.aris.net uh, on your computer, select it, kind of scroll down a little bit, and there's some stations, uh, and there's a list. Hang on here. Okay, and if you go down the list, you see all the stations and... Uh, uh, what the UTC time is there and let's see what we got uh, there I am right there W6GPS-7 and I can go through and um, 
it told how old it was so I'm going to change it to uh, UTC so there we go so there's the UTC times and I click on my call sign and it shows exactly where I was at then I go over here to uh, raw data and it shows when you see that RSOISS with the asterisk uh, that means you made it through uh, digipeed it through the um, ISS you can also go to APRS.I5 put, put your call sign in W6GPS-7 comes up and if you're not on the list but you want to say hey I did make it if you see the RSOISS with the asterisk that means you were actually digipeded through the station uh, that picked you up those are called um, uh, sat gates so and also I've got my email address there if anybody wants to email that I made it through so let's let's uh, kind of recap um, it's kind of fun to do uh, it isn't going to happen all the time about the time you've got it figured out something else is going to happen and also it's not just International Space Station uh, it is uh, little satellites uh, PSAT satellites uh, that are 350 milliwatts so it is kind of an interesting way to uh, make a uh, APRS contact in outer space uh, at least I get all excited about it so I hope you do too so I hope this has helped you out uh, if you enjoy the video subscribe to my channel w6gps uh, at yahoo.com that's my email address um, and I do want to say it was uh, fun showing you how to do this uh, it's very hard to do uh, video and uh, hold on to an antenna and show you stuff so hopefully you kind of get the idea uh, said there's probably more to it in the setup than it is actually doing it so anyway 73 is to you and hopefully we'll see you on the ISS uh, APRS list so this is Don W6 GPS Chattanooga Tennessee have a good day